In the news this week, children at a Christian school face questions about homosexual practice. Politicians are told of the dangers of legalising assisted suicide in Scotland and a gay rights activist opposes the legal action against the Christian-run bakery. Hello and welcome to this week's news bulletin from the Christian Institute. Primary school aged pupils at a leading Christian school face questions about homosexual practice as they became the latest target of controversial British values rules. Parents objected to questions their children were asked, including if they knew what lesbians did and if their friends felt trapped in the wrong body. The principal of Grindon Hall Christian School in Sunderland, Chris Gray, has written a formal complaint to Ofsted, accusing their inspection team of adopting a hostile stance against the school's Christian ethos. Mr Gray said, Several parents complained to me about what they saw as intrusive and deeply personal questioning of their children. I am also concerned that the manner and content of questioning of pupils crossed the line into harassment. Ofsted has not yet responded to the complaint. Politicians who voice support for free speech in the wake of the recent terrorist attack in France should now work to protect Christians, a Conservative peer has said. Lord Tebbit spoke out after Deputy Prime Minister Nick Clegg said that free speech was vital in a free society. The peer expressed the hope that politicians would see what more could be done to help Christian street preachers and guesthouse owners who have faced legal problems. I hope that Mr Clegg and others will now come out as liberals rather than rather narrow-minded opportunists eager to deny their opponents the right of free speech they demand for themselves. Nick Clegg had commented that free speech has to be for everyone if it is to mean anything. He said, the freedom that allows someone to criticise an idea, even a religious idea, is the same freedom that allows others to promote it. This is the bottom line. In a free society, people have to be free to offend each other. A veteran gay rights activist in Northern Ireland says an equality quango should drop its legal action against a Christian-run bakery. Councillor Geoffrey Dudgeon warned that the Equality Commission has twisted political discrimination laws. The Commission is taking Asher's Baking Company to court over their refusal to produce a pro-gay marriage campaign cake last year. Dudgeon, who is hoping to become an MP this year, told the Belfast Telegraph he is nervous of any type of zealotry against Christians. Referring to the legal action, he commented, It is a test case again, and this is a test that would be best put aside. The head of a major medical group has warned MSPs that legalising assisted suicide would damage palliative care. Dr Francis Dunn, president of the Royal College of Physicians and Surgeons of Glasgow, was giving evidence to a Holyrood committee on a bill to legalise assisted suicide. I feel that if this had come in, say, 20 years ago, it would have diminished the impetus on the palliative care movement. And there are still many further developments that we can make in palliative care, particularly in non-malignant conditions. Uh, and I think that if this was an option on the table, then the, the, the other options would not be able to be explored in the same way. The Scottish Parliament's Health and Sport Committee is looking into proposals which would allow patients as young as 16 to end their lives even if they are not terminally ill. Labour MSP Dr Richard Simpson, a former GP and founding member of a hospice, criticised the scope of the bill, which allows assisted suicide for life-shortening conditions such as epilepsy. The committee is set to hear evidence from ethicists, palliative care specialists and faith groups in the coming weeks. Well, that's all for this week. For more information and regular updates on all our stories, plus much more, visit our website at Christian. .org.uk. Until next time, goodbye.